So dear student, dear student, welcome to RCM Online College. Uh, my name is CPS Steven. Uh, I'm going to take you through or uh, to demonstrate something to do with uh, financial accounting that is a uh, foundation level paper. That is paper number one. So I'm going to take you through on how we can prepare bank reconciliation, bank reconciliation. At the bank reconciliation, we have two formats on how we can prepare. So today I'm going to take you through one of the format, the simplest uh, way for you to be able to prepare bank reconciliation. I know you understand that uh, in our banks, we have uh, maybe some challenges whereby uh, you find that there are errors that may lead to the cash book in the company is not lining with what the bank is giving us. So today we are going to see what uh, the error or how the errors will be uh, regulated or how we can correct those errors. So in this, I just welcome you to uh, this session. This is our uh, RCM. online college. RCM online college. Our contact is 07 14 So we are going to look at uh, financial accounting. This is paper number one, financial A reporting paper, financial uh, accounting, that is FA, a reporting paper. And we are going to look at uh, and a topic of, uh, under this topic of uh, assets and uh, accounting for assets and liabilities is where we find our uh, bank reconciliation. So topic is uh, bank Reconciliation. So I hope you enjoy the session. I hope you enjoy the session. I hope you enjoy the session. So uh, as, as I said earlier, that uh, under bank reconciliation, we have two format to prepare these uh, uh, statements. We have two formats to prepare to prepare this uh, statement, and we are going to start with the uh, first format. First format. First format. You know uh, that you are expected to maybe come up with uh, an updated cash book so that you can get the balance. The balance that will help you to start uh, in preparation of uh, bank reconciliation. So, how do we come up with the updated cash book? What are we supposed to record uh, on the debit side and uh, on the credit side of the updated cash book? That is what I want us to see. And after which uh, we shall do one illustration uh, to show how that one can apply. Therefore, let's look on how we prepare the updated cash book. That is the first thing that you come, come up with. Eh? Uh, So as usual, we shall have a, a T account. We shall have a T account with the, the debit and the credit side, with the debit and the credit side. So this is a updated cash book. So uh, this is our debit side, and this is our credit side. As you are aware, usually debit, 
what comes in and uh, we credit what goes out. That is, we debit the receipts and uh, we credit the payments. We credit the payments. So whatever that we have uh, as our item of uh, receipt, we shall uh, press it or uh, maybe enter on the debit side. And uh, whatever that we have, that is uh, our payment, we shall credit on the, our updated cash book. So assume you are given an information, uh, the information. So uh, we are going to have that format. We are going to have that format. Uh, what do we start with? Obvious, uh, the cash book, the cash book will have the balance from the previous period or uh, from the previous month. So we start with the balance that was brought for, forward. The balance brought down. So you place it on the debit side, the balance brought down. Then on the credit side, if there was uh, any check that was dishonored, any check that was dishonored, uh, any bank charges, any bank charges, uh, all those are credited because you find that those are just, uh, so we have said uh, bank charges, bank charges when we uh we credit then we have maybe something like dishonored check dishonored check dishonored check we shall also credit another thing that we should credit uh is any under uh is any uh, co uh correction of undercharge any correction of undercharge if there was a uh, an undercharger uh in any amount we put it on the credit side correction of uh, undercharge 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 so if you have done any correction on a uh, on regard to undercharge you should uh, credit that amount. You should credit that amount. Then we have study order. Study order. Study order. I think uh, those are some of the items that uh, should be credited, should be credited as far as the updated cash book is concerned, as far as the updated cash book is concerned. Uh, what can we add on the debit side? Remember, if there is an overcharge, for example, there was an error of uh, maybe transposition. Transposition, you have to uh, that uh, you have to indicate that error or correction of that error on the debit side. On the debit side, that is to make sure that you cancel that error. You cancel that error. So uh, we have correction. We have correction of uh, maybe overcharge. Uh, overcharge. For instance, I can illustrate this by uh, the overcharge may arise in uh, this circumstance. Overcharge. It may arise in this circumstance. Assume you are given uh, you are given a transaction you are given a transaction with uh, 1100 uh, use you are given a transaction which was expected to have maybe uh, 1300, 1300. That is 1300. That transaction was expected to have 1300. But when you are recording, when you are putting your record, uh, you just mess and uh, transpose this to 3100. To, uh, to 3100. Uh, for this, you can see we have uh, an overcharge. We have an overcharge as far as this one is concerned. So the difference, the difference that uh, we will get, uh, the difference that is 3100 minus 1300, that difference that we shall get is what we shall put uh, under our debit side uh, to cancel this error because that means there is, uh, there is a, a, a problem. There is a problem in that that transaction there is a problem in that transaction so in this in this case you have to uh 
put that uh, so that you can update your cash book so that you can update your cash book and then from this you can maybe get uh, the total the total can maybe get the total uh, the total let's get the total here and have your totals So uh, our total on the debit side, and uh, we have our total on the credit side. So in this case, you find that uh, your debit side, your debit side may uh, may be having may be having a higher uh, amount or higher value compared to the credit side. So you shall be having a balance on the credit, balance on the credit, balance on the credit. So you'll be having the balance carried down on the uh, credit side on the credit side and this balance is the balance that we'll be using when preparing our uh, bank statement when preparing our bank statement when preparing our bank statement when preparing our bank statement let's now see how uh, the format of preparing the uh, bank statement the format of preparing the uh, bank statement the format of how we can prepare the bank statement So Uh, how we can prepare uh, the bank statement, uh, reconciliation statement. So uh, in this case, in this case, uh, we start the, with the balance. We start with the balance that was carried down, the, the balance as per the uh, updated cash book. So you can have uh, shillings, shillings. So the balance as for the updated cash book is what we start with. This is format number one. I said that we have two formats to uh, uh, to do this. We have two formats to do this. So uh, balance as per the updated cash book. So you just place your balance on the second column on the second column, and then you can add, usually add and presented check. You add and presented check. There are those checks that were, uh, uh, were not presented to the bank. Eh? There are those uh, checks that were not presented to the bank, but were there in the, in the office and presented uh, checks. So unpresented check. Then we also add something to do with bank error. If there was any error, if there was any error that uh, may lead to uh, increase in the bank balances, any error that may lead to increase in the uh, bank balances, we add it here. So bank error. For instance, for instance, of uh, this error, uh, uh, an example of this error, an example of this error, error that can lead to uh, maybe increase in the bank uh, balances. You can say maybe overstated deposit, overstated deposit, bank errors, maybe uh, overstated deposits deposits so that one we uh we add then you can have understated payment understated payment this will uh, uh increase uh, understated uh, understated understated payment those are some of the 
error that you might uh, come across. And then uh, that, uh, you add some them, you add to the last column, add to the last column so that we can get that. Then you have to less, you have to less. What do we less? We less uncredited check, uncredited check, uncredited checks. There's uncredited checks. So under the uncredited check, under the uncredited check, you find that you are you're going to have maybe uh, some checks that were not credited, some checks that were not credited together with the bank error. Still we have bank error, bank errors. These are the error that reduces, eh? uh, it reduces the error that reduces the bank balance. These errors here increases the bank balance. You find that this one will increase the bank balance, but uh, what we less is the error that reduces the bank balance. So for this error, you can say uh, understated deposit, understated deposit. So that is a, a, an error that uh, we should uh, subtract, understated deposit, understated deposit. Put it here. Uh, you can also have something to do with overstated payment. If uh, they had uh, overstated the payment, those are the error that you expect uh, to get there. So for this one, you just add, you get the total, and then you subtract. You shall subtract. So the final figure, the final figure, the final figure, we shall call it. Uh, we shall we shall call the final figure the balance as per the bank statement. The balance as per the balance as per the bank statement. Bank statement. That is the final figure. Final figure. It will be uh, named as the balance as per the bank statement. The balance as per the bank statement. The balance as per the bank statements. Therefore, therefore, with this knowledge, with this knowledge, I would like us to look at an illustration, at an illustration, at an illustration, so that we can uh, get to understand better, get to understand better. Allow me to uh, share, uh, I'm going to share. So here comes an illustration of the same. Uh, uh, it's uh, about bank reconciliation statement. So uh, it says the following information relates to RCM Corrie. At that first 12, 2017, the balance on the cash account was uh, 11,820. We are told there it's debit, but the balance appearing on the bank statement was 15,000, that is credit. The following are the, uh, the reasons for the differences. A payment, a payment of uh, Kenya shilling 1200 had been entered in the cash account as a uh, Kenya shilling 2100. Additional information number two, we have bank charges of uh, Kenya shilling 20. We had a bank charge of uh, 20 shillings. Then a check of uh, 200 shillings had been dishonored. There was unpresented checks totaling 6,500. We had uncredited check of uh, 4,000, which had not uh, uh, appeared in the bank statement. You are required to prepare the correct balance on the cash book account. The correct balance on the cash book account. That is the updated cash book. And then B, you are required to prepare bank reconciliation statement, bank reconciliation statement, bank reconciliation statement. So uh, that is the question, that is the question. So let's uh, tackle that question. Let's tackle that question. Let's tackle that question.
So uh, just say illustration, illustration. Illustration one. Eh? So for illustration one, we have adjusted or updated eh? updated uh, cash book. We we'll start with the updated cash book uh, as uh, our first uh, thing. So we have credit, we have debit. So um, we are given the balance. We are given the balance there. You can see the balance. We are given the balance. We are given the balance. The balance brought down. The balance brought down. Balance that was brought down. Brought down. We can see we are given 11,820. 11,820. 11,820. That is the balance that was brought down. 820. That is the balance that was brought down. Then you are given some bank charges. Bank charges. We said that we credit the charges. What goes out? Bank charges. Bank charges. This one goes out. Eh? It's a charge of 20. Then you can see we, are, we have been given... Uh, we are told that there was there was a, a problem. There was a problem of a, a, an error of transposition. This uh, transposition error from twelve hundred to twenty one hundred. So the difference uh, is what we we will call a correction of overcharge. So uh, you can do that. Uh, we have twenty one hundred. You get the difference uh, minus twelve hundred. You get a correction overcharge. Yeah? Correction, overcharge. You can say overcharge. Correction, overcharge. Overcharge. That will be 900. 900, how do we get, uh, how, how did we get, uh, get to this? It is uh, 2100 minus 1200. So that we can get uh, the amount that it was overcharged with. Uh, the amount that it was overcharged with. I can see we also have a dishonored check. We have dishonored check. This uh, dishonored. Eh? Dishonored check, still this one, uh, will be credited. And uh, the amount is 200, 200, 200, 200. Do you have any other item uh, that affects our ca uh, cash book? I don't think we have any other. If we could, uh, if uh, we could have studying order, studying order, we could have uh, credited. We could have credited. We could have credited. Uh, if we could have have uh, maybe anything to do with uh, undercharge, undercharge, the correction of any undercharge, uh, you also uh, put on the credit side. Put on the credit side. So let's balance our account. Let's balance our account and see uh, what we shall get. What we shall get. So I think here yeah, I shall have my totals. I shall have my totals. So uh, that is 11,820 plus 900. 11,820 plus 900. 11,820 plus uh, 900. I'm getting 12,720. So that is the total. Uh, 12. 720, 12,720. So with that, I think I can get my balance carried down. I can get my balance carried down, uh, of course, on the credit side, eh? balance that was uh, carried down, the balance carried down. I just subtract 220 from the answer, minus 220. I'm getting something to do with 12,500, 12,000. 12,500. 12, so this is the balance that I will start with when preparing my uh, my statement of financial position or my statement of financial position. My reconsideration statement, sorry, reconsideration statement.
So let's uh, prepare our reconciliation statement, our bank reconciliation statement. Uh, let's prepare bank. Uh, this is the uh, RCM forage. RCM forage. This is a statement of uh, RCM forage. Yeah? So bank reconciliation statement. Bank recon statement. Statement as at that first, as at uh, that first uh, December 2017. So that is our heading. Eh? So uh, we say that we start with the balance that was uh, carried down in our updated cash book. So balance. As per adjusted cash book. So here you have shillings. Shillings. I don't know whether shillings. Okay. So So you can have your shillings here. At least uh, this is a cash book. And uh, shillings. So uh, the balance we have 12,500. Eh? 12,500. 12,500. 12,500. 12,500. Hope it's visible. Uh, then you have to add uh, any un uh, unpresented, uh, add unpresented check, unpresented, unpresented check. So uh, in our case, you can see from the question that we had unpresented check of 6,500, 6,500. So we have 6,500. So if uh, that, that is the case, if that is the case, we did not have any error. If we could have a bank error, a bank error, we could have maybe uh, added here. But in this case, we don't have, we don't have. So therefore you just sum up this, you get 6,500, eh? 6,500. When you, uh, you add the two, I think this one you give me, uh, this is, uh, Zero five two zero. It's giving me something to do with that nineteen thousand. Nineteen thousand. I'm getting nineteen thousand, and then I have to continue. I have to continue lessing any uncredited check. Was there any uncredited check? Less uncredited check. Check. Uncredited check. You can look at the question, you can see we are given uh, one there, we had a 4,000, amounted to 4,000. So uh, this is an accredited check of 4,000. Uh, still, if we had a bank error, that uh, this increases, increases the bank balance, uh, then we have bank error that maybe reduces, reduces the bank balance. It reduces the bank balance, reduces. So we don't have any. So in this case, we only have that uh, uncredited check. So you sum it up, then you subtract from uh, uh, the given total of, uh, I think I'm going to get 15,000. 15,000. This is what we are calling balance as Per the bank statement. Bank statement. Balance as per the bank statement. So let's see. Uh, let's me. Uh, let me display the question uh, for you to see whether that was the balance as per the bank statement. Yes. Yes. You can see we have fifteen thousand. Eh? Is the balance? that uh, appeared in the bank statement. So after you do your question, your balance 
must be the same as what was there in the bank statement because now you have uh, corrected all the errors you have corrected all the errors and uh, you have reconciled you have reconciled so that is what we are saying that is what we call bank reconciliation bank reconciliation so that is one of the method one or that is one of the format of uh, preparing a bank reconciliation statement that is one of the format there is another format of which we shall uh, look at it uh, in our next uh, lesson in our next uh, lesson so remember you're getting these services from rcm online college and to reach rcm online college can you call contact this number kindly contact this number 0719 525,000, 525,000, 525,000. We charge uh, each paper in foundation level, advanced, uh, uh, intermediate level, and uh, advanced level at uh, 4,000, at uh, 4,000 for each subject, for each subject. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. I uh, wish to meet you in our next uh, class when I will be explaining on how uh, we can uh, get the bank statement using format number two, using format number two. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.